Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to define a callbacks in open API specification. In last 8 videos, I have already described a basic concept about open API specification using any point platform. So basically, how you can write a basic open API specification then how you can write security schemes, then how you can enable the reusability and later we have also seen how you can completely manage the API lifecycle using the any point platform. So the focus on this video is mostly on defining the callback. So why we define callback or why we require a callback? So let's consider a scenario where client is sending your request and the server is taking a longer time for processing the request because it contains a lot of complex and the business logic in such cases you cannot keep a client waiting so you send the technical response back to the client saying i have received your request and it's under processing and later you can send your functional response over the callback url saying that the request has been successfully processed or like you can also send if there's any error while processing the request so in such scenario you require a callback url so let me continue on the same open api specification which we have written in our previous video so let consider i have one post method which i have defined in my open api specification so let me show that post method let me go yeah so this is the post method so creating the post so this particular post method is taking some long time because it having some business logic it do lot of validation it perform lot of checks so i have defined already like description i have some parameters i have a request body i have a response so basically a client also need to send a callback url so either the client can send a callback url into as a header parameter or it can be in the you query parameter or it can be in the body in this case i will be using a query parameters basically so what i will do instead of defining a query parameter here i can define a query parameters like you know uh, in the components so let me go to the components i can define a query parameter in the components under the parameters so i have already have defined the parameters under that i can some say something like you know callback query correct and then i can say tab i can define in in is query then i can say i can give this required true then i can define the schema in schema i can say something like you know type so type will be string and also i need to define the name of query parameter which is callback url then also i define what is the format of callback url this will be uri you can give the example so for example it is http like i will say https like jitendra server dot com yeah this is my callback url so i define my callback url as a query parameter and i want to use this callback query in this uh, post method so i can go to post method and i can wrap this so i can provide the reference so simply i can say dollar ref okay and let me copy this url okay and let me copy this callback name okay so i will call just copy this and i will paste it here so i defined my query parameter let me check whether it is reflecting in documentation or not okay and so let me see yeah i can see this is reflecting in the documentation also which is good thing now like like you are defining the request body or responses so open api specification provide a callbacks also a callback tag so you can make use of callback back you have to define on the same level where your request body and response is so i can say callback and you have to provide some event name so i will say on data so once the data is processing so you can send the response back 
then you need to provide like uh, you need to provide a path basically so what will be the path in this case my path will be dollar request dot query so i am reading a query parameter and let me copy this query parameter callback query okay so i will simply go there i will say dot callback query slash i can say data so this is my resource endpoint under resource i can define a post okay this is my post method under post method i need to define a request body so there will be some kind of request body then i have to define contain okay so here contain i can define as application slash json that is fine tab then i have to define some kind of schema and i will say type object under that i will define some additional properties then i can say time stamp this is the first property which is of type string then i can provide some kind of example so example can be 2022 slash 02 so i define the example also now i will also define one more property which is a message which is of type string then i can give some example message process successfully so i am sending this particular now i have i need some kind of response back from my callback url also so in this case i will define the response i want to make sure request body and the response are on the same line or at the same level so let me define responses once i define the responses i will define like a response code under response code i will define description which i will say success then i will define contain which is of type application json then i can use schema and or simply i can provide a description something request received successfully okay so he, that is how i can define the callback and whatever you are defining in the callback it will going to reflect here so you can see that in the documentation callback url parameters you no know, secure everything it will get reflected here if you want to see it in better way so you can copy this and you can go to any swagger editor also let me go back to swagger editor let me open that just paste it here and let me check yeah, that is fine so i will just go to post under the post you can see x correlation id and there's a callback url if you go to this step callbacks you will see what is the url so whatever the url coming in your query parameter slash data so on data is nothing it's just an event it can be any name and like here you can see what kind of response and whatever so you can see you can just expand this it will say like what is the request body and what is the response so you can see everything so you can see like uh, this says that like this particular like uh, endpoint have a callback also so that is how you can define a callback into your open api specification so it's simple so why we define the callback because like for this particular post method it is taking a lot of time for processing the request so i cannot make a client to wait for the longer period the first i will just send a technical uh, response uh, which will say uh, instead of created i will say request received okay let me copy this also and i will just change this to 200 and i will just make this as a 200 one so it is taking a lot of time so first i just send a technical response where i am saying i have successfully re uh, received a request with 200 okay 
then later like in the back end i have completed my processing so like client has to send a url a callback url in the query parameter in the first request so once my request is completed in back end i will use this callback url and i will just just say the message has been processed successfully right so i will just say the message has been processed successfully uh, i will just send this request uh, to the client and client will just uh, receive me with 200 okay request received successfully so that is how you can define a callback into your open api specification so that is one of the good feature provided by open api specification i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching